Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade chapter three, lesson seven. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so you will notice that I have made some marks on my paper. Okay, so I made these marks because first of all, the the orange and the green, because you have to do this number first, then this number. Okay, so the orange number first, then the green number. Okay, then I did that all the way down so that I would remember to do the orange number first. Okay, every single time the orange number is first. Okay, plus then I went and I color coordinated my dots on my map with the letters over here so that they were a little bit easier to find because when it's on gray and black and white, it's really hard to find. So we're going to go ahead and get started with B. B is going to be orange, so that's right here. Okay, so our number first is going to be the one on the orange. Okay. So you'll notice that these go uh, in increments of one half. So I would be that would be zero half one one and a half two two and a half. Okay. So B is on negative one. Okay. B negative one. Okay. Now on the green line. Okay. We would go down to two and a half. Same thing here. Zero half. One, one and a half, two, two and a half. Negative because it went down two and one half. Okay? We're going to do it again. C, yellow. We're going to come over here. So the orange number first, the orange number is on two. Okay? Easy peasy. The green number, okay, is where we come down. C goes to here, which is one and a half. Okay, D right here. So the orange number is negative one and a half. Okay, and the green number is going to be zero. It didn't leave the zero line. Okay, didn't go up or down at all. So it's going to be on the zero line. Okay, E, E is up here. So our first number is the orange number that goes all the way over to negative two. Okay, but it goes up to two and a half, positive two and a half. Okay, going up. Okay. All right, last one, guys. F. Okay, F goes over. Oh, it's in between two of those. Okay, so it's in between a half and two, or one and a half and two. So let's say one and three quarters for orange, okay? And then up, it went to one and a half. Ooh, they were trying to trick you there, okay? So now we're gonna go down and it wants us to label them, or to plot them and label them, okay? So I did the same thing, green and, and orange, so that you know which one comes first, okay? So orange first, negative one half, that's here. Then we're gonna go up one and a half. That's right there, okay? That's G. Okay, you have to label it, okay? I know it's hard because it's squished together and it's an itty bitty one, but you just gotta do it, okay? Okay, H, zero. So it's not gonna leave right here, okay? Then we're gonna go up to two and a half. Up to two and a half, right there. That's H. Okay. All right. Negative one and a half. Boom. Up to a half. Boom. That's J. Okay. All right. We're going to go over one, up two. That one is K. All right. Negative one and a half. Negative one and a half. Now negative two and a half. All the way down that line to two and a half. That's L. Okay. M says to go to one, then to go to negative one half. That's M. All right, 
n is telling us to go to a quarter, so that's halfway between zero and a half, and then to go up one and a half. And that's n. Then on p, one and a quarter. Remember, 0.25 is like 25 cents. It's a quarter. There's four quarters and a dollar, so that's a quarter, okay? So p wants to go over one and a quarter. Oh, and it's going to stay on zero for us. So that one's right there. And that's P. Okay. All right. What is the ordered pair for City Hall? Well, City Hall goes over negative one. And it goes up one half. Or 0.5. You can do one half or you can do 0.5. Either one is totally acceptable, okay? The post office is located at negative one half, so negative one half up to label post office, okay? When you do these, you need to put them in parentheses. I forgot to tell you that, my bad. So all of your ordered pairs, that's what these are called, are in parentheses. See how they already have parentheses? Number one's already got parentheses for you. Okay, you got to put them in parentheses. Okay. All right. So we've done through number 16. Okay. Lesson check. You guys are going to do those. You totally can. Okay. We are going to go down to spiral review. Okay. Spiral review says four students volunteer at the hospital. Casey volunteers 20.7 hours. Danielle's 20 and three quarters hours, which three quarters is 75 cents. So that's 20.75. Xavier is 18 and nine tenths of an hour, and Forrest is 18 or 20 and 18 over 25 hours. Who volunteered the greatest number of hours? Well, let's find out. The only one that we're not really sure of. This one is at 18. That's not going to be the greatest number. Okay. This is 20.75. That's 20.7. If we added a number, it would be a zero. It's not going to be that one. So it's either Danielle or Forrest. Okay. So let's grab our scrap paper really actually. We're just going to go ahead and do it right here and put 18 in the box and 25 outside the box. Okay. 25 is obviously not going to go into 18. So we are going to decimal point zero, bring our decimal in. Okay. I know that 25 is going to go into 100 four times and into 80. I'm sorry. Yes, into 100 four times and into 80 three times for 75. So that's 175. Okay, which means I would have five left over. Add a zero, bring it down. 25 goes into 50. So this is 0.32. Okay, that means that Danielle had the most hours. Okay, this is how we show our work, guys. Okay, directions for making a quilt say to cut 15 squares with sides that are 3.625 inches long. What is the side length written as a fraction? All right, so you have three, we have 625, and that ends in the tenths, hundredths, thousandths place. So we're going to put it over a thousand. Okay. But we need to reduce that drastically, okay? So I know that 25 will go into both of those, okay? So uh, 25 will go into 625, actually 25 times, and it will go into that 40 times. It looks like I can still reduce it. So five will go into 25 five times, and five will go into 40 eight times. So there you go. Oh, and we need to put inches. Okay. I just divided this by 25 because I knew that that would, that it would go into them. And then I divided those by five. Okay. All right. Cam has a piece of plywood that is six and seven eighths feet wide. He's going to cut shelves 
from the plywood that are one and one fifth feet wide. What is a good estimate for the number of shells Kim can make? So six and seven eighths is just about seven. And one and one sixth is about one. One sixth isn't even close to half of a sixth. So if we did one, then it would be possible that there would be seven shelves. Okay? That's the estimate. It's asking for a good estimate, not the actual number. It doesn't want you to divide. Okay? Okay. Zach has three quarters of an hour to play video games. It takes him one twelfth of an hour to set up the system. Each round of his favorite game takes one sixth of an hour. How many rounds can he play? So we're going to do three quarters. We're going to take away that one twelfth. Okay. Then we're going to divide that what's left into a sixth and find out how many times. Okay. So first, I need for them to have a common denominator. 4 and 12, the lowest common denominator, going to be 12. So this one's already okay. This one I need to multiply by 3, top and bottom, to get 12. So I'm going to wind up with 9 over 12 my, oh, minus sorry, 1 over 12 equals 8 over 12. Okay. So then when I do 8 over 12, divided by one sixth, okay, we keep, we change, and we flip, okay? So now I can reduce, and six goes into six once, six goes into 12 twice, and then I can still further reduce because two will go into eight. So two goes into two once, two goes into eight, four times, that's gonna be four times one, four rounds because the bottom would multiply to one and we don't need that. Okay, all right guys, thanks for hanging out for 3.7, come on back for 3.8, see you soon.